I've done enough long distance rides on my escape by now to know that belt drives are just not reliable at all. I've gone on four skate packing trips on my electric skateboard at this point, and on three quarters of them, I've had nothing but issues with my drivetrain crapping itself. Shredded belts, grip blasted wheel pulleys, poor tensioning, nothing but issues. When you're doing a long distance ride like a group ride or my specific use case of skate packing, or even if you're just doing longer commutes on your board, reliability matters. You don't want to be mid ride when a belt snaps or starts skipping, especially if you're with a group or you're going to be running late. Now, obviously your mileage may vary, those with nice clean asphalt on their rides may not have these issues, but I find that not not only do my belts have a lot shorter lifespan than you'd hope, but my wheel pulleys also get grinded up rather quickly. Now I'll add the caveat that for me it's because I'm riding on the shoulders of roads where there's a lot of grit and fine gravel, and often riding on gravel trails, but am I unfair in wanting to get more than a single day's use out of a belt before it's shredded? I'm talking like less than 100 kilometers here. My wheel pulleys are only lasting a couple of days in these conditions. If you're running an all-terrain board, you're probably less prone to these issues, but gravel and grit get flung up and batter my belts, causing tears, get stuck in the wheel pulley and drive gear, wearing down the belt on the inside, and sanding down the teeth of my wheel pulley to the point where the belt just can't catch anymore. And even when they're not quite worn down enough to need replacing it, little pieces of gravel constantly get stuck in the wheel pulley teeth, requiring constant stops to disassemble the drivetrain and clear them out to stop my belt from slipping. So that begs the question, what are the alternatives? Thankfully, electric skateboard drivetrains are actually quite diverse. There's a lot of different options to choose from. There's hub motors, direct drive motors, chain drive motors, and gear drive motors. Hub motors are common on budget boards. They're okay. They they do the job just fine, they're low maintenance and inexpensive, and most importantly, sealed up from grit and gravel, but they do have some drawbacks that make them not useful for long distance rides. They have low torque and can't tackle hills very well, they don't dissipate heat as effectively, which is problematic if you're a heavy guy and have a backpack full of gear on a hot day. Direct drive motors take the concept of a hub motor and take it out of the wheel and put it on the truck hanger instead, letting it cool more effectively, however it still has the torque problem of hub motors, and trying to stick an all-terrain wheel on a direct drive motor that's not built for it is a good way to fry them. There's not many options for them, and a lot of people report reliability issues with them. They're also prone to get dings and heavy wear on the underside since they sit so low to the ground. Chain drive electric skateboards do exist, although they're not that common. Generally, you'll find chain drives on the super rugged, massive, backcountry, all-terrain monstrosities. Chain drives are less prone to damage from grit and gravel, but come with their own set of problems. When a chain breaks, it can be catastrophic at fast speeds. Imagine a chainsaw belt exploding mid-run. They're also super heavy, noisy, and need to be cleaned and oiled up frequently since they sit so close to the ground and get gunked up from sand and grime very quickly. So that leaves the only one left on the list and the one that, in my opinion, beats all the others for reliability on long distance rides. Gear drives. Instead of a belt or chain connecting the drive gear of the motor to the wheel pulley, it's direct gear on gear action. It has all the strengths of the other options and almost none of the weaknesses, it has good torque, it's lightweight, no belts or chains to worry about replacing, and you can use any standardized electric skateboard wheel. And most importantly, the whole system is in closed so that minimal dirt and grime can get in there to wear down the gearing. In my opinion, that makes them the most reliable for long distance riding, especially where sand and gravel pose a risk. There's a reason gear drive electric skateboards are starting to take over.